Governor Corbett's budget proposal calls for a 52.4% reduction in Penn State's appropriation. It represents a decrease of $182 million. This is a devastating number. It is devastating news that could fundamentally change Penn State and our sister institutions in the state and have major negative impacts for the citizens of Pennsylvania and their families. Penn State's appropriation is mostly used to offset the cost of education for Pennsylvania residents. And the direct impact of these cuts would be to undermine the support of in-state tuition for Pennsylvania resident students. The College of Agricultural Sciences would experience a decrease of $29 million of support that enables the network of county extension services in all Pennsylvania counties. It will be a significant blow to the support of agricultural research. This would be in addition to the college's share of cuts in the academic operating budget. The Penn State Hershey Medical Center will lose $13.1 million through the elimination of state medical assistance funding and the related loss of federal matching funds. The Pennsylvania College of Technology in Williamsport will see a reduction of $1.4 million. Penn College, as many of you know, is a subsidiary of Penn State. The combined reductions to state-related universities and the Pennsylvania state system of higher education would amount to over $660 million. We believe it to be the largest single one-year reduction to public higher education in this country's history, both in percentage and in dollars. We should not forget that Penn State does not exist just to grind out degrees for undergraduates. Our graduates are the most sought after by corporate recruiters, according to a recent study. Independent economic development analyses show that our universities are the principal engines of progress in the Commonwealth. Penn State contributes $18 billion in direct and indirect economic impact. The return on investment for Pennsylvania is manifold. While we graduate 18,000 students per year at Penn State, we are also the largest producer of graduate degrees, do $800 million a year in research, most of it being brought into our state from outside of the state, including $100 million per year in research partnerships with industry. We are a backup location for state government in an emergency. We run the backup 911 system. We provide hazmat response for the region. We operate scores of service entities that in many other states would be provided by state government. We operate public broadcasting in the region. We own and operate the airport for central Pennsylvania. We are not just disseminators of knowledge. Our faculty are the creators of knowledge and have led discoveries that have made it possible to better feed the world, build our roads and highways, make steel, create faster computers, cure disease, and improve the human condition. This cut appears to signal a redefinition of Penn State as the Commonwealth's land-grant institution. Let me ask a simple question. If any community, any community in Pennsylvania, were seeing a business with a bottom line of $182 million that was about to go under, would we allow it to disappear? Or, if Pennsylvania had the opportunity to attract a new company that would have a guaranteed payroll of $182 million, would we allow it to slip away? In one fell swoop, that is what is proposed. That is about what we are to forego. And let me be clear about something. I draw your attention to these charts on either side of me. Penn State has not contributed to the state's budget gap. 
Penn State's appropriation has remained flat in actual dollars over the last decade, while spending in the state has grown by 41 percent. The appropriation to state-related institutions has, I repeat, not contributed to the budget deficit that Pennsylvania is now facing, not one penny. This budget proposal will force the university to put everything on the table. Such actions in the broadest terms will undoubtedly include significant budget cuts to our academic and administrative units. Yes, that would mean layoffs. And note that Penn State is one of the Commonwealth's largest employers, and this cut would, of course, add to unemployment in Pennsylvania. Tuition increases for in-state students, which will push a greater financial burden on, on their family's shoulders, would occur. Out-of-state students already pay the full cost of their education. It will undoubtedly push the cost of a Penn State education out of reach for many Pennsylvania families who are already at the maximum level of loans and grants. This calls into serious question the viability of operating a network of 20 undergraduate campuses, with some campus closures a distinct possibility. Over the coming weeks, I will work with our Board of Trustees and our administrative leadership to develop plans to respond to this devastating potential cut. We will fight this vigorously.